All right, here we go again. Welcome to a DVP on Hardwire. In the top right, we've got a laser. And in the bottom left, his opponent, Gillis. This game, or this series, is a best of three from the IEM Katowice 2022 in the upper bracket. And... Yeah, here we go. Um, Drunk comes out looking for the probe, finds the probe, realizes he's got to take the alternate natural. The thirds have really become the natural for Zergi players. This probe is just so annoying. He definitely wouldn't have had enough minerals to take the natural with this probe. Denying it, blocking it, being a little jerk face. Uh, the probe does got that the alternate natural, the third base, is really taken as his second base. Hatch gas pool from a laser and uh, just a simple gateway on the low ground. Pylon on the low ground. Expansion from Skillis. Protoss, does the Nexus go down first or the second pylon? And the Nexus, apparently. Not too good on my Proton build orders. Even takes a gas before the second pylon. Okay. That's the order, huh? Alright. Skills is even going to pylon block the natural. He let he does let that finish as his second pylon. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right, back at the Zerg base, we've got speed on the way. Zero on gas. He's got to take a third base somewhere. A couple lings are coming out, and a cyber core. Is that going to finish as well? Does that even block the hatchery? Probably just a little tiny bit. Oh my god, come on, man. Depth comes across the map. Might get a drone. Nope. This is so annoying. Oh my god, he lets a second Cybercore finish up. Second pylon, or third pylon, really, in the main base, Stargate. These games could go for a really long time. <laughs> this might be air toss to the extreme. Oh my god, I can't believe how much he did blocks that base. Adept shade in and cancel. There's lings and queens on both bases, which should be enough defense. He might let that finish. He does. Target fires the drones. Recalls. One of the adepts gets out. With the threat of the adepts over, he can now kill the Protoss double tech here. Losing that pylon does not supply block Skillis. We got a Void Ray first out of the Stargate. Might go Overlord hunting. It does. Third base tries to get up for Skillis, but this is not going to finish. It's cancelled. Waste of 100 minerals for Skillis, and maybe a couple Zerglings for for a laser. Or Miko. Is the wall open? Wall is not open. Oh! Save me! Yeah, second attempt at a Nexus. It has too many hit points for the links to dive on it now. They do get a probe. Skillis. 
Finally, got his buildings removed by the Zerg player and now can take his natural. His real natural. Oracle is out sharking around. I thought he might go for a cube tumor, but I'm gonna go for some drones. This is an ambitious Oracle. Gets one kill and might have to wait for shields to regenerate. Roach Warren in the third base. That might not get scouted. Oh my god. Went for Tempest? That quickly? Alright, Skillis. Interesting. He's also going for Tectonic Destabilizers. This upgrade allows Tempest to do bonus damage to buildings. This was an anti-spore crawler forest upgrade added within the last two years. The last patch. Prior to Tectonic Destabilizers, late game ZVP would include a lot of Vipers, a lot of Spore Crawlers, and Carriers, and Tempests and Void Rays would all get yoinked into Spore Crawlers. Without a strong enough ground army, couldn't poke through all the Spore Crawlers. All right, just normal ZVP things. Guess I'll just take this time to remind everyone that I am going to try to cast every single replay from IEM Katowice. This will be number six, I think, uh, number six. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, yeah, so in my quest to do so, I appreciate any support, likes, subscriptions, comments down below. And if there are any interesting games, I am going to like consolidate them and make a kind of like a highlight reel of that game. That's a lot of queens. That's a lot of queen energy. But these Tempest can almost one shot queens, but they've all lost their shields by now. This is the craziest fight I've ever seen in a. PvZ. PvZ. I don't cast very many PvZs. It's not my favorite matchup. But this is interesting. <laughs> How does your laser overcome Tempests? This map especially because, I mean, this terrain is not allowing the queens to get down and around and got them. He's got to save his energy for transfuses, but uh, maybe a, a uh, creep tumor down here. Spreading the creep down here would be good, but like the tectonic disabler does so much damage to the hatcheries. Queens might be able to catch up to. Wow, they are one-shotting queens. Oh, <laughs> that is brutal. Fifteen corruptors are on the way for Skillis. That will definitely be able to clean this up. I think your laser is just trying to. Oh my god, he can almost one-shot an extractor. All right, here we go. I'm going to see a recall real quick. Yep. Oh, gets two Tempests. Okay, so two Tempests go down for one hatchery and uh, about a half dozen queens. I'm going to push with Roaches and Corruptors, I believe. Um, in Straight into Natural would probably be the best bet. A lot of stalkers on the way. A couple disruptors. He's pushing straight into the natural here. Corruptors flying in and looking. They found the. Oh my god. Is this gonna go down? You kill my hatcher, I'll kill your Nexus. Oh my god, it worked. It worked. Skills is trying to get enough stalkers out to fight the corruptors. He found the remaining Tempests and are going to pick those off quite easily. Uh, the Stalkers are trying to focus fire down the Corruptors. Shield Battery Overcharge probably isn't enough for the DPS of all these Corruptors. 
With the Tempest threat ga gone now, the Corruptors aren't really doing much, and there's so many Stalkers. Killis knew exactly what Laser was going to counter the Tempest with, and I think he overbuilt Corruptors. The Corruptors aren't doing anything. He's got to go kill another Nexus. He's going to. But is this Stalker ball too much? Oh, the Corsobiles almost get that Disruptor. He does want it. So he's going to pull, pull back with the Ground Army, but the other Nexus died. So that's two Nexus down. Uh, Income-wise... Income-wise... Uh, Skills is still doing okay. The laser is mining more. Army value. What's army value? Also, 500 APM. Army value is about 7,000 for a laser and 5,000 skills. So a laser does seem to be ahead here. He's mining more and he's got a bigger value army, but this, these corruptors, again, they will not do much until a greater spire is finished, which I don't know. He is not making a greater spire. And even if you get a Greater Spire in, Broodlords, uh, Blink Stalkers do really, really well against Broodlords. They can just blink underneath them and then pick them off and just weather the storm, so to speak, of the Broodlings. That was interesting opening, a Mass Tempest opening. Takes a couple bases. These corruptors are just kind of waiting to find out where the stalker army is, and then if you can get in there and kill another nexus, why not? Ling run by runs into a zealot run by, who wins the bugs. Oh, he's going for it again. The stalker army is moving in. The Corruptors do kill the Nexus. I don't think that was worth it because this Stalker army is absolutely massive. Uh, he needs... Uh, I don't know about Banes, but he's going to lose this base for sure. Maybe another one. He does not have a big enough army to handle Stalkers, Archons, Disruptors, and a couple Zealots. He's got to come from every single angle. He's setting it up. Or he's just going to go for the counterattack with those lings. We got Ravenger, Bane Ling. Is all it run by? The Zerglings are hitting two places at once. Corruptor's not really doing much at all yet. And the Stalker Army comes home. <laughs> this is going to be the fourth Nexus that goes down. It's going to go down. Oh, he just needed a shield battery. There was no shield battery within range. So he essentially has sacrificed all of his Corruptors. And that's the fourth Nexus that has fallen. That's hilarious. Bandling run by. Chase is down to probes. Doesn't get anything. Yeah, he gets very few probes. So, <laughs> Gilles' uh, economy is hurting from the <laughs> fourth nexus that he lost. <coughs> Excuse me. Zealot run by us. That's a lot of banelings. I think he went for an. Oh, he got 14 kills that time on the baneling run by. Ling run by comes in. That's a pretty scary Protoss army. He's going to evacuate the drones. I don't think Banelings are going to do it, though. Disruptor shots come out. Mostly hit nothing. Eh, a couple there. Here comes all the Banelings. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
The Banelings do not connect. They're, they're not even good against Stalkers, but splash damage is splash damage. Can he remax a laser? Can he remax on something that is usable? Because Bane, Ling, Ravenger is not going to do it. Does have a couple Banelings waiting there. The Queens are actually going to do really well. More Roaches coming in. I think the Roach game is is the play. The laser's way ahead now. 140 to 96 supply. 86 supply. Plus 3 attack is almost done. That was a big scary Protoss army, but Skillis can't remake one. He doesn't have the economies. Ah uh, yes, the thing about money is uh, we have none. Yeah, Mass Corruptor. It's not like a laser was going to go Mass Corruptor. Like, I'm going to kill his Nexus. No, the Mass Corruptors were there to counter the Tempests. And then he's like, oh, I got these Corruptors. Might as well get all your bases. So that was a little fun. I'm going to counter this. And to counter this, you need that. So I'm going to make this. So it went from Tempests... Queens and Corruptors, Stalkers, and now a laser was somewhat hot without the counter to Stalkers until recently, well, with his Mass Roach army here. Army value wise, um, Skillis was probably ahead earlier, but worker wise, a laser has been ahead. So he could trade out bases, he could trade out units. As long as he could keep a relatively good standing army and his economy, he can just trickle out roaches until uh, Gillis taps out. Which should be soon. Should be soon. I mean, there's 20, 30 some lings in production. Those lings should just wrap around and clean up the rest of these stalkers. There are no more archons, there are no more disruptors. Let the lings flood in. Here they are. Yep, that's a lot of revs. GG. Laser takes game number one. All right, game number two is going to be played on Pride of Alteris, which is not a very popular map. This will be the first time I've casted a game on it for this tournament. Pride of Alteris. Skillis. E-Laser. Game number two. That's two, three. Laser. Game number two. We're going to speed this up a little bit for the early game. Ooh. All right. Skillis is taking the gold base on the Zerg side of the map. Pretty dangerous. It could get scouted by the Overlord. It does not. The Skillis is definitely known as an off-meta Protoss player. And the laser does have the gold bases hotkeyed. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to keep the sneezes on. Sneezes and all. Casting. Sneezes and all. You have a little bit of a cold right now, but nothing. Nothing severe. All right, we'll slow it down to a normal rate here. I think that's normal rate. <laughs> These plays go so fast, sometimes it's hard to tell. Is this, uh... He... Wait, did he cancel the gold base? He didn't take the gold base. Weird. He did send his probe out there to see if the 
laser was going to take that cold base. Um, skills is going to open up with a dark shrine this game. Don't think that's going to get scouted. There is an overlord here at the pillar, at the high ground pillar. This isn't, this isn't certain. Turn this on. There we go. Okay. That, was, that music was too Terran. Skillis is going to take his own gold base. He's got an adept back here in the mineral line to prevent lings from denying it. And two adepts wedged in here is strong enough. Man, Dark Shrines take forever to build. Gonna follow it up with a Forge that's likely for cannons to defend his gold base. And the first two Dark Templar are being warped in at the gold base. They split directions. Let's see where they go. Is move commanded all the way into the natural, and the other one is going over here somewhere. There's a spore crawler in the natural. There's not in the third base. Two workers go down so far. There's no spore crawler in the main base. It is only now just getting started. There is no layer. So this spore crawler needs to stay up. He is going for drones instead. Up oh, the spore crawler. I think he's surrounded too right now. 12 workers going down is a big deal. Spore crawler finishes the dark temple. Tries to get away. No recall. But it is denying mining at the third base. Spore crawler comes down from the natural, roots in, and Dark Templar threat is done, but I think he lost a solid amount of workers. At least 10. Yeah, probably 10. the robo this far out seemed a little vulnerable. Link Stalker's on the way. I think the Dark Templars are no longer going to be built. Going to go mass gateway out of this. He does have the third base in the gold location, so he's making a lot of minerals and can afford extra gateways. Sooner than you'd expect. There is a queen walk on the way. Let's go! Skill sees it with his hallucinated phoenix. Here we go. Gonna try to bust the gold base. There are... There's one shield battery here. Stalker's focused on one queen. Ravager's going for the cannon and the pylon. The shield battery's recharging the cannon. And there's shield battery overcharge. Ravenger is now focusing down the shield battery with Gross of Bile. It goes down. Stalkers versus Queens with Transfuse is probably the slowest and noisiest fight ever. Two more shield batteries finish up, and I think Skillis is going to easily hold now with these two shield batteries. Unless they get depowered. But that is a lot of Stalkers. All of these gateways came online. And suddenly, suddenly he holds. It was scary for a little while there, but once he knew that the Queen Walk was coming, shield batteries and warping in a ton of stalkers. Ling Runby's gonna get into the main base. Oh no, I'm a liar. What's he shooting at? Oh, shoot. There are some lings stuck in the warps. 
That Stalker army did move into the third base here. Blinks away. Probably could get more damage done, but decide to hold on. More Prism, more Dark Temper for Archons. And that's not enough links to handle this amount of Stalkers. He's going to kind of chase, though. Oh, Recalls. Ah, oh, one lonely Stalker. Don't tell me he gets away. There's no way. Uh, I want to join you! I want to be a Zerg! Just kidding. I don't. <laughs> oh my God. And the Stalkers that did successfully get recalled home and back out on the map tried to save his buddy. We're sorry we left you. No gold base for you. That was a very quick cancel. Good job, Elazer. Things will deny the fourth base, but they gotta head home to help defend against this. Uh, looks like the laser just wasn't able to handle that amount of stalkers at his third base. Uh, yeah. All right, ties up the series. Let's go to game three. We're on 2,000 atmospheres for game number three in the top right. We've got Skillis in the bottom left. We've got a laser. This is from IEM Katowice 2022. Round of 36, upper bracket. Yeah, here we go. ZVP. Let's watch Skillis. If anything weird is going to happen, it's going to be out of Skillis. There's no probe scout from Skillis. There's no hatchery block from him. The laser is just going to go hash gas pool. Skillis is playing a normal game as well. Walling off on the ground. Da, da, da. So he scouts after the cyber core. Don't tell me he gets a drone kill with his probe. No. That was a very fast Stargate. Okay. Stargate opening her again. Probe. Save him. The probe actually did get saved. Probably because he thought an adept was on the way. It is. The adept's going to find the third base. Did you see that? He did see that. Wow. Just do his shade harass. All right. Void Ray for the Overlord hunting. Overlord probably knows he's going to die anyway, so he's going to scout in and see. Hopefully what we can see. Is this slow or is this fast? This is normal speed. I think Skillis will be able to hold on to that third base. Especially with the Void Ray out now. Slightly supply blocked. The laser is slightly supply blocked too. I mean, very supply blocked. Whatever happened to E Laser Overlords? Double Stargate. I'm going to see another Fleet Beacon. Only one kill for the Void Ray so far. And production wise, really not much going on. Lings and Void Rays. Uh, looks like plus one weapons, so this is going to be a very heavy air toss game. Yep. 
Where's the fleet beacon? He should be throwing that down very soon. I'm probably going for uh, flux veins with the number of void rays that he's making. Flux veins getting void rays insane speed and acceleration. There it is. And a third Stargate. Oh my god. Three Stargates on three bases. I can't believe you can afford that. Um, Hydroden is on the way, or is it not? Nope, that's just the, uh, lair. He should be going for the Hydroden. Hydroden or... Or Spire. It's kind of the only thing you can do against this. Oracle finally getting some kills. Three kills, that's not terrible. So what's the lair tech against... All these void rays. He must know that it is void rays now. Three carriers on the way. Oh my god. Wow, I was wrong about flux veins. I mean, maybe it'll come eventually, but. Infestation pit. Plus one attack. Plus one missile attack. For roaches. I think Elazer is just trying to get a very good economy, but he's letting Gillis also get a huge economy and that carrier count. Where are these suckers rallied? Right to the third base. Mm, Hive? Hive is on the way. He's going to need Vipers as soon as he can. And he is getting, uh, what is, what is that? Is that the extra energy for investors? I don't see any like real tech for Elazer. I thought, I thought he would go for a Hydrogen by now. Alright, carriers are about to show themselves. What's, let's watch laser camera and see what he does. I'm not convinced he knows about the carriers yet. No. Let's see, nine infestors. Making nine infestors. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how you kill all this stuff with nine infestors. It's neuroparasite. But can he hold on with this many queens? I guess so. Especially if he... Oh! Got microbial shroud. Ah, microbial shroud reduces the damage from air units. Kind of a replacement for infested Terrans. Remember those? Those were a little bit too strong against air. Yeah, it would be Infestors and Spore Crawler Fours in previous generations of ZVP. Very effective. All right, we've got Vipers, Infestors, and Queens. It's a composition of choice against a carrier fleet. All right, uh, plus two, maybe plus two attack going down for the air fleet. The carrier count is now up to six with, you know, he's he stopped the carriers at six and now he's going Archons. I guess that's a good idea because uh, enough queens and infestors could very well take care of Everything. Microbial Shred could cast on the block of queens. This is just disgusting. It's just gross. <laughs> what a weird situation. 
huge amount of queens under microbial shroud getting revealed by by a an oracle you're a parasite on three of the archons I think the Archons are actually helping to kill the inter Interceptors fairly well. Little Zealot run by here runs into a bunch of roaches. Yeah, the Neural Parasite on the Archons was very good against all the in Interceptors. They do splash damage. Pretty surprised you can handle Sky Toss with just Queens and Infestors. Oh. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> That's so many neural parasites. Simulation successful. Oh my god. That's so many infestors. Your army is now my army. I think the queens can win this. The interceptor count is at zero or two. <laughs> there are no more interceptors. Oh, it's gonna waste a recall. Vipers abduct. That is a lot of immortals that suddenly came out of nowhere. But I think Elazer feels very safe now. Army supplies 66 to 117. So Elazer is just going to chill at home. Most of his army supply is probably in Queens. But he can easily. Remax on something a little more deadly. Oh, uh, he, he doesn't see this army over here yet. Ling Roach counterattack. Should be able to kill this fourth base. And the Queens, Infestors, Spinecrawlers, Sporecrawlers should be able to hold this off for now. 13 probes have gone down on the north side. Blinding Cloud. So Blinding Cloud and Microbial Shroud. I guess it couldn't call them both clouds. Alright, no more Stalker production. What's going to be the target over here? Probes, I guess. We're in the main! Both players with a lot of minerals, Skillis with almost no gas, and a ton of probes have gone down now. Two robos depowered, no more disruptors for now. And a laser, perfectly happy to <laughs> trade out a bunch of lings while he makes ultralisks. He will need a uh, kindness plating. Oh, he must have kindness plating already. Does he? You know what? Yes, he does have kindness plating. All right, it's now or never for Skillis. He's got 47 workers. And needs to kind of punch back a little bit here. Not a little bit. He needs to punch back a lot. God, that's so many queens. That's annoying. <gasps> Two lings. Get up! Get up! Ah! <laughs> Ultras are pretty good at taking care of 
zealots. Come on, fight! 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 But they're not very good against blood rays. What's the carrier count? Are there any left? There's one carrier left, which... <laughs> the funny thing about ultras is you make ultras against carriers. Because the carriers don't do a lot of damage. Carriers? Or, the carriers don't do a lot of damage to ultras. Ultras do exactly zero damage to carriers, but... They have so much armor that the interceptors barely touch the ultras. So if the carriers are shooting the ultralisks, they're not shooting at other important things like... Your vipers and queens and roaches. Ah, the spore crawler forest. The great outdoors. Main speed. Plus three. Plus three. 16 lings. They must already have adrenal gland. Those zerglings are feisty. <laughs> Microbial shroud, preemptively. Little ling ultralisk run by. These guys are still going ham. Oh, banelings! Woo! Yeah, there goes Skillis' economy. He's mining 600 per minute. He's got the splash damage, but those disruptor shots needed to be, like, money. All of them. Blinding Cloud goes down on the Immortals and Archons. Zealots are kind of punching away at the ground army here. And the Queens? Hold on. This is a very strong ground army. That's a lot of it, Immortals and Archons. Oh no! Ah! The Investors! Oh no, the laser's gonna lose this game. Skills just has a death ball. I can't believe Skills is gonna win this game with 28 workers. Skills went for a very obviously heavy air sky toss to an anti queen, anti ultralisk. Okay. So that's what Skillis does. He goes for a weird build, makes you counter it, and then counters your counter. He did that in the other game with the Tempests and Corruptors and then Stalkers. And now he did Carriers, Queens, and now just Immortal Archon. Yeah, Skillis is the master of the meta. He can mind game you and make you build the units that you didn't even know you didn't want to build. All right, uh, yeah, Skillis takes the series two to one. See you in the next series from I Am Ketabitsa 2022. Subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. Show your support for my quest every single game from the tournament last weekend. Bye.